Ruto is a man under siege. His party this time taking a shot at removing him from the party's deputy party leader position. But President Uhuru Kenyatta, observers say, has discovered a better way to tame his overambitious deputy, strengthening rival parties within their home grounds to clip the DP's political influence. Tonight on the 2022 game plan, we take a look at the politics of the impeachment motion against the deputy president, William Ruto. The rift within the Jubilee Party has widened by the day, and the son of the Rift Valley region, Deputy President William Ruto, is the target on the bullseye, at least according to his allies. When the ruling Jubilee Party was campaigning for the 2013 and 2017 presidential elections, Ruto was President Uhuru Kenyatta's favorite before he was accused of early campaigns and undermining his boss, President Uhuru Kenyatta. Again, a first in Kenya's history. Kenya has not had to import a single grain. A few years down the line and Kenyatta's once political soulmate has been sidelined for his political ambitions to inherit his boss next year with some referring to the political storm within Jubilee as just sibling rivalry. And though unofficial, the deputy president has been fired, at least as the Jubilee deputy party leader. Ni mambo ambayo inafanywa kwa sababu ya roho mbaya ama kuonea mungine wivu jizi anavyo tembea katika inchi. Unajua sisi kama wa Kenya, watu napenda wale viongosi ambao wanafikia wana inchi katika mashinani na kujua shida zao na pengine hao walipoona kwamba pengine naibu rais anafikia na inji katika maeneo mashinani kwa kwa wao wakona kwamba anajiundia sana sifa hii yote ni siasa ya kuhakikisha kwamba kwa sababu hako na ile support ya watu na watu wanamuamini na watu wanataka wanaendelea kumuunga mkono katika katika jamhuri ya Kenya na katika na jamii zote unaona kwamba wanajaribu mbinu yote ya kujaribu kumtupa kando naibu rais alitengwa kwa serikali ya jubilee tangu mwaka wa 2018 alitengwa wakati kuna mabroka ambayo waliingia katika chama cha jubilee ndio walienda wakamuanza kumadvise uh, rais vibaya there were moves or suggestions that he should be removed as leader by deputy leader of the party jubilee and that was done as far as i understand of course it is it final there are there are some um, procedural issues but the mighty and powerful along the corridors of Jubilee House are not done just yet. The party is considering to table an impeachment motion against Ruto, an idea that was suggested by ANC's Lugari Member of Parliament, Ayub Savula, about two months ago. Although Savula claims over 126 Jubilee allied members of parliament have so far signed the proposal, the plans to get rid of Ruto as second in command is believed to be a political baffle. Impeaching the DP is a tall order. Marshalling uh, the numbers to impeach the DP is a tall order. Uh, see, the first question is how many members of parliament does ANC have? So, and that is the mathematics that whoever is planning this impeachment needs to, to, even before you think about whether the motion will pass or not, you need to think what will that do politically. But proving the grounds on which Ruto should be impeached could prove difficult for the Jubilee Allied legislators. According to the Constitution, a deputy president can be removed from office if he or she has violated the Constitution, committed a national or international crime, or for gross misconduct. You remember when uh, the member of parliament for Nyali uh, tried to impeach C.S. Uh, Masharia, uh, his impeachment, even though he had garnered the requisite uh, uh, signatures to, to impeach the, 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 the C.S. Uh, uh, transport infrastructure, but the speaker threw out uh, his motion because uh, even though he had uh, attached uh, papers, uh, evidence, in the manner he failed to explain in the manner in which he got those uh, those evidence because you must get uh, those evidence through a credible source through a legal process so it's not just about uh, marshalling the numbers but it's about also getting the evidence uh, getting the evidence uh, to impeach the deputy president but the fact that there was that move to remove him from his position as deputy leader of the party speaks volumes that his fit and uh, his influence uh, across the country in terms of political influence 
has been is being limited and he looks increasingly isolated he's an isolated man although it would be expected that getting impeached would work against him in the race to state house next year an impeachment could be a blessing in disguise for deputy president william ruto in fact in my view uh, if i if we want to to really uh, clip the, the the wings of the deputy president and continue keeping him in government because that way he will be treated with both successes and the failures of that government. But if you kick him out, then you ride on the development record and blame everyone else on the problems. The situation between the president and the deputy president is a constitutional one. It's not a party issue anymore. Uh, the party can be done that way. But removing him from the office of the deputy president raises constitutional challenges, which may have to be addressed by the court. Attack on the Leo. Nataka niwahakishie kwamba leo wakimondolewa watakuwa wamjenga bado wakimwacha wamjenga kwa hivyo lote mawili kumondoa ama kumu, ama kumwachia bado tu yatarasha jijenga but president huru kenyatta has portrayed his political wits to downplay his deputies growing influence across the country with his asla narrative in a move that has been largely said to be a tactical plan to limit ruto's ambitions to have a national party president kenyatta met coastal governors ali hassan joho of mombasa Kwale Salim Vuria and Kilifi's Amazon Kingi. The meeting happening on the same day the DP met a section of members of parliament from the region at his current home. Kingi has been pushing for a coastal political outfit and if Kwale Governor Salim Vuria, who is Ruto's point man at the coast, joins hands with his coastal counterparts, analysts believe that Ruto will lose his bargaining powers in the race to conquer the ODM-dominated region. President Kenyatta has recently embarked on strengthening regional political parties, including Musalia Mudavadi's ANC and Moses Wetangula's Ford Kenya in Western Kenya, Kalonzo Musyoka's Waipa Party in Ukambani, with Baringo Senator Gideon Moyes Kanu targeted at dividing Ruto's Rift Valley backyard. Our watu hawawezi kuunda chama ya kikabila kwa sababu uh, kwa chama ya kitaifa because they are tribalists. There is no way unaweza kumwambia mmoja wao atiaache chama yake ya kabila yake awe katika chama ya kitaifa. Hawezi kukubali because in their mind they are tribal leaders. It's time to take another short commercial break but we'll be back